Do you ever feel your playing is too repetitive? Or you find a pattern that you like, but you don't know how to develop it? Today we check out four ideas to add variety to your playing. We take a simple starting pattern, create variations and develop it into a piece of music. You won't need any special techniques and you can integrate these into your playing, no matter if you're a beginner or advanced player. Let's get started. Here is our starting pattern. This might have been a little fast to catch it right away. Once more, let's use YouTube's super convenient speed function to check the pattern out in slow motion. Now you can check out the details. For example, that I use the index finger for the central note and the thumb for tone field 1. Right, right, left, right, right, left, right. Right, right, left, right, right, left, right is the hand pattern. This little pattern sounds nice enough, but if we just continue looping it, it will quickly get repetitive and a little boring. Let's go ahead and check how we can develop this short phrase into a nice piece of music in four simple steps. Option number one, change something. In our case, we will take the basic pattern and change some of the notes to create variations. You will see that even making very small changes can have a big effect. Okay, let's only change one of the tone fields and see what happens. I will change tone field 1 down here for tone field 2. Let's check it out together with the original part. This one little change creates a harmony and already our short pattern turns into a musical sequence. Let's make one more change to create a B part. This time we will change the tone field that the left hand plays from 6 to 8. So the left hand starts up here. And then comes back down. Let's recap what we have so far. So far so good. The sequence sounds pretty nice, now that we added a harmony and created a B part. Let's move on to option number two, add something. We simply add some notes. Yeah, this is another pretty obvious way to create variations, but bear with me, it's gonna get less obvious in a minute. For now, let's add some transition notes at the end of the second and fourth bar. Check out the little melodies at the end of every line. We start with 7-8 and then come back down with 5-4. In the B part we use 7-6. I like those little transition melodies. They create a question-answer kind of effect and make the sequence much more interesting to listen to. Now let's move on to option number three, which is less intuitive than the others. We take something away. It's easy to fall into the habit of adding more and more notes to your patterns, but it's often a cool effect to take something away instead, especially in a busy pattern like this. This option is easily overlooked, but it often can have a strong effect. Depending on which notes you take out, the outcomes will be different syncopated patterns. Let's check some of them out. In the first example, we take out a few notes towards the end of the sequence.
the hand pattern here goes right, left, right, left, left, right. Let's move on to example number two. This time we take notes out the first half of the sequence. The next example is a lot of fun. We take away the downbeat. Let's check that out once more slowly. Cool! You can also do that same thing twice right after each other. Option 4. Break something. In this case, the flow of the music. Now why would you want to do that? Because even if you're playing the funkiest pattern, once you leave it for a moment and give a little breather, the moment you get back to it, the listener will enjoy it even more. And you can achieve that by playing breaks. While variations can be played frequently, breaks are used more sparsely. Because they literally break up the flow of your playing. You want to use them with purpose. That can be, for example, to mark the end of a section or a musical change that's coming up. A well-placed break can build anticipation, surprise the listener, showcase your skill, or give a space to breathe before you continue. Let's check out a few examples. The first break is super short. One, two. The second break uses a short roll. If this one is giving you trouble, I teach it in more detail in my video about single stroke rolls. You can move the phrase around on the instrument. Now let's put all the things we discussed to use in the final sequence. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Even if some of the ideas seem obvious, I think it's still helpful to remember how each of these can be used. In this case, to develop this short, simple pattern into a nice piece of music. This video is part of a new weekly series. 
So if you want to get notified of future videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell button below. You can also let me know in the comments if you have a wish for a topic for a future video. Have a good practice and see you next week. Thank you.